Hello, and welcome to the Zero to Hired podcast, the show that helps struggling job seekers find a career that's right for you. In every episode, we have one mission, to provide you with unique tips and strategies from leading industry experts that will get you in front of hiring managers. Enjoy the show. everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Zero to Hired podcast. Our special guest this week is Veronica Hislop. Veronica is currently the founder of the Empowered Solutions Consulting, where she helps stressed and overwhelmed entrepreneurs to manage their stress, prioritize their needs, and set healthier boundaries in their interpersonal relationships so they don't get sidelined and distracted from creating massive success they desire. Her personal mantra is to break the chains and step forward into the future. Please help me welcome Veronica. Hey, Veronica. Hi, good night, good evening, hello, (laughs) and all of that nice stuff. How are you? (laughs) I'm fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm really good. Thanks very much. So Thank you for inviting me to your show. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, no, we're excited to have you. And, you know, given that May is Mental Health Awareness Month, is, is that right? Yes, it is. Yeah. So it, it's a timely topic for, you know, what we're going to be talking about, which is, uh, you know, really reducing the stress. You know, I'm, I'm going through your profile right now. It says you're the ninja stress busting warrior. Yes, for sure. That's, yeah. that's, that's really, that's a really, <laughs> a really cool title. So, so give us a little bit of, give us a little bit of background and story around how you got into this particular field, Veronica. Well, I'm actually a, a trained therapist and trauma counselor and um, working in, with, um, in that particular field and with a lot of employee assistance programs for the past uh, five or six years. And um, I became stressed and overwhelmed myself. My personal life became stressed. I became a caregiver to two individuals, my mother who had early signs of Alzheimer's and I had a brother who'd had a heart attack and a stroke. And my whole life almost turned upside down with the amount of stressors that I was coping with and with having a stressful job at work. And um, I ended up one morning having a massive panic attack and realized that I needed to do something about my, if I didn't do anything about my situation, um, uh, you know, stress was going to get in front of me and I was going to really be in serious trouble. So it was, a, it was a bit of a wake-up, shake-up call. I mean, I knew enough about anxiety and panic attacks to get myself out of it, but it was like, it was really a wake-up and shake-up for me. Veronica, you know, get a hold of this because it's going to get a hold of you. And um, so, I mean, y- yes, I have the educational experience and background, but, you know, when it affects you personally like that, then you realize, well, and you know, that that was really what got me to start thinking about stress and stress management and um and started to work on myself and and you know and and look more deeply at what works in terms of how we take care of our own personal mental health and our wellness and how we manage our stress wow it's it, it's scary when you you know and i i totally understand when people come to me and say, well, they, you know, they they have a pan- they had a panic attack or, or you know, they're struggling with anxiety, I totally understand where they're they're coming from. Um, and but but the thing that I think got me out of it was the awareness that I, I needed to be in control. That I I couldn't lose control to this thing, or else I was just going to be gone. <laughs> so. Um, and, and really, it was through that that I began to start looking more at what I wanted to do, what was important for me, how I needed to take care of my needs, um, what my self-care plan was going to be, um, and actually do it. Um, and, um, pro- you know, it was, I needed to prioritize my own needs. Um, I needed to manage my own stress. I needed to set, set healthy boundaries in my own life and um so uh, you know it was a personal journey that i went through myself which really informs now informs the work that i do so stress is very much the basis of my of the programs that i provide because you can't do any reflective work 
You can't do any meaningful work if you don't know how to calm your mind, if you don't buy into the fact that um, you need to take care of yourself, and if you don't accept the fact that you might need to have to set some boundaries and, and say no to people and say no to certain things in, in, in your life. So, so this is fantastic. So, and I know, and there's been a lot of things in the media recently around, uh, so there is, and I even saw a television show recently where uh, the gentleman looked like he was having a heart attack, but it was actually a panic attack. And mm-hmm. there seems to be more and more awareness in and around this. So I want to get to my audience because they're wondering, so why is this important? Uh, and I know why it's important because I know one of the things that I've heard from our candidates that are going through the interview process and how stressful that can be. And, you know, you, you touched on some very good, some very good items around, you know, not losing control, taking control back and not feeling that sense of, you know, I don't even know what to call it, but like just not having any power over the situation or, or not having power over the, the interview that they're going into. So I want to bring it back to my audience and making sure that they get the value out of it. So why is mental health important to the interview process as a candidate goes through it? Well, mental health is important in general because it's, you know, your emotional, psychological, and your your social Mm well-being. I mean, it affects how you think, how you feel, how you act, Um, you know. So really being aware of your mental health, how you cope, how you problem solve, that's all what we mean by mental health. And maybe one of the things that I might want to do, um, since we don't, we only have a limited amount of time, is give your candidates maybe three tools oh, okay. that they can yeah. use to take with them um, when they're going on an interview that can help them to um, get get a good handle on their stress. How would that be? Yeah, no, I think I I'm, <laughs> I don't think I know the audience members would love that, especially when they're going and and. So would these three tools apply to the before, the during, and the after the interview phase? Or are there- Any time before, while you're in it, and even afterwards. These are tools that you can, there are simple tools that you can use. Um, The first one you use before, um, and that is mirror work. Um, looking in the mirror, do it when you're brushing your teeth, do it every day, do it when you get up, when you jump out of bed, look in the mirror and start affirming your worth. I am, I can, I will. These are your three, your, your power affirmations. I am, so you can start with I am, I don't know, confident. I can, um, do this job. I will, um, um, be successful. So, you know, those, you you start your affirmations with um, those three sentences, and you can write four or five affirmations, um, um, you know, using those three sentences. And you say that to yourself while you're brushing your teeth, while you're looking in the mirror. You say it to yourself when you're driving, say it out loud. You say it to yourself when you're walking to the interview, you know, create a... um, you know, find a empowering mantra that you mm. can say that inspires, motivates you, um, and that you have that in your back pocket so that when you're feeling really anxious, you have those words to remind you to be grounded and that you're okay and that you are good enough. Yeah, actually, and this is one of the things, you know, that we talk about, Connell and I, quite a bit is stay away from the negativity because that contaminates your thoughts and your ideas before you walk into the room. I think the last thing a candidate should ever do is sit, you know, waiting in a room somewhere, looking at a television screen, especially if it's the news, uh, you know, taking away their their power essentially because they start to see things that are, are negative and those negative messages uh, end up affecting their mindset. So having this routine of I am, I can, I will, and this is something that you can, you know, and I've done this in the past as well, uh, where you write them down and these are the things that you look at or, you know, we also talk about going over your stories before you walk into the room, you know, and before your story, you know, I, I, I can answer this question successfully. Um, I, I am the right candidate for this role. 
I can answer this question successfully, I will succeed at this interview. These are, yeah, and those are your power affirmations. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there are lots of things that you can do with affirmations, you know, um, put them to music, um, um, put them on your on the screen of your um, um, your computer, um, you know, connect them to pictures of yourself. Um, I, these are all ways that you are feeding your subconscious mind of your of your um, competence, your ability. And um, it's, it's, it's a way to empower yourself. The second tool that I have for you is um, the most powerful thing that I know how to do is to learn empowered breathing, belly breathing. If you are breathing in at the top of your chest, you are anxious. And you've got to shift that breath from, the, from your chest down to your belly. Um, Empowered breathing is something that you can learn in an hour, and once you've learned it, you will always know how to do it. And it's really a, a method of just slowing down your sympathetic, your parasympathetic nervous system, bringing it down. And then you're inhaling, let's say, to the count of three, you're holding your breath to the count of four and you're exhaling to the count of five. Now, if you can hold your breath longer and inhale um, you know, to the count of four and so forth and so on, then you're gonna um, slow your breath and slow your, your parasympathetic nervous system down even more. Um, but again, if you wanna know how to do it a little bit more, you can connect with me after the call and I would be happy to go through empowered breathing with you but learn how to do that because it'll help you in any um, anxiety provoking situation. So let me just recap it for the audience members. So the way I heard is three, four, five. I was just gonna break it down really simple. So taking a breath for three seconds, we're gonna mm -hmm. hold it for four seconds, and then we're gonna breathe out in five seconds or longer. But yeah, I mean, if you yeah. can inhale for four, you can hold it for five and exhale for six. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I, I, I can do this. Uh, I can inhale for 10. I can hold it for 10 and I can exhale for 10. So, I mean, I, I'm not saying that people should do that right off the bat, but the, 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 um, the, the longer that you can hold the breath and exhale, that's how you slow your system down. You bring your, your, your nervous system down. Do it when you're anxious. Do it when you're angry. Um, do it when you're frustrated. Um, yeah. It's a great way to calm yourself down. Yeah, I'm just thinking even about just being nervous, right? And uh, instead of letting random thoughts run through your head, just the breathing exercise will calm you, right? Absolutely. And, and, you and it, take, it stops Sorry. you from thinking um, uh, those crazy, <laughs> ridiculous thoughts. Yeah, and, and and really that's the key, right? Is is not to let those those negative and you know those uh, self um, contaminating thoughts come into your mind, and that breathing is a great way of doing it. So, just so you know, our audience members know how to do this. So, uh, so they're just going to relax. They're going to sit down, and I guess they're just going to do a deep belly breath where they're going to push it down to the bottom of their belly, and then breathe it out that way. That's, that's what yeah. I'm hearing. Yeah. You got to get the bed, the breath down to your belly. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's tool number 2 and you had the, uh, a third tool. Yeah, the number third the third tool is I got this from Tony Robbins and he's coming here in September by the way. Yes, and I know. I got my ticket already. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um but one of the things that he does is he teaches you how to do a power move and it is a way for you to anchor a move into your body that when you do it, it shifts and changes your physiology. Mm -hmm. And what that means is if you're angry, if you're upset, if your energy is low, you evoke this move and immediately it changes your energy. Um, and uh, so find something. I mean, a power move, let's see. Who does a power move that we know today? Um, Usain Bolt. When he runs and he wins, he does okay. a lightning bolt uh, gesture. That's his power move. And it sh it's, it's to show the world that he, he he's the fastest man. It shows everybody. But it also <laughs> reinforces for him that he's the fastest man. Yeah. So that's his power move. 
Um, another power move um, that I can think of is the victory sign, uh, mm -hmm. the sign that Winston Churchill used during the Second World War. I mean, if you, you know, he, he would go on tours of areas that had been bombed during the Blitz. And, you know, there's Winston Churchill, you know, you've just been bombed out of your house. <laughs> and there's Winston Churchill coming through with the victory sign. Yep, we're going to get through this. We're going to be victorious. And that, that in itself was a power move. So create your own and use it. Use it in difficult times. Use it when you're stressed. Use it when you need to change your physiology, when you, you know, when you need to motivate yourself, when you need to inspire yourself. Have a move or a gesture that you can do that really um, shifts and changes your energy. So this is so this is good. So um, so Veronica and I'm 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 wondering, just like the audience members are wondering, what's your power move? I can't show you. You can't show me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, try I, describing it to me. Um, it's uh, I'm I'm punching the air and I'm kicking my feet, my oh. foot. Yeah, so I so, can't show you, but it really, um, I, I think I saw Tony Robbins uh, about 10 years ago, yeah. and I still re recall that move, and I still do it. If I'm, you know, on the treadmill and I'm not motivated, I start to invoke my power move. And, um, you know, if I really need to push myself and inspire myself and get myself out of a funk, I invoke my power move. Now, do it privately. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it depends on the power move, but yes, uh, unless you're Usain Bolt and then you're in the middle of an Olympic stadium, that's fine. Yeah, um, I have done this before uh, when I've been doing a pre presenting at a, uh, a conference and a workshop, and I would go out before I was supposed to present, and I would do my power move, and I think people were looking at me and thinking, oh my God, does this woman have Tourette? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is where the ninja comes from, right? This is what I'm guessing is like all oh, those those moves that you're doing before you uh, get up on stage and start talking. The, the other piece is don't take yourself too seriously. Because yeah. <laughs> you I, need to do things. I mean, if, if you, you know, if you're 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 um, talking to yourself, looking in the mirror, you may have to do that in a bathroom before you go for an interview, yeah. and uh, people may be coming in the bathroom. So don't take yourself too seriously. Um, you know, just know that you do these things, you have these tools, and you know, these tools allow you to give your best at that interview. And if the you don't get that particular job, then understand that that really was not the job for you. That job is not meant for you. Yeah. It's not that you're a failure. It's not that you're not good. You know, you want to maintain your mental health throughout all of this um, and just understand that there's a better job waiting for you you just haven't found it yet yeah actually and so you're right on point and you and i we, we think the same and um yeah no definitely so there was so much good stuff in there uh so just so i can recap the power move is, is the key thing i know personally for myself i use my own power move similar to I don't kick stuff, but I do uh, what uh, Amy Cuddy. The air. I'm not kicking stuff. I'm kicking the air. <laughs> kicking the air. Um, so Amy Cuddy, who's a TEDx speaker or TED speaker, she talked about uh, the Superman or Superwoman pose uh, where you just put yourself into a power position and look into a mirror. And that actually amplifies that feeling of uh, empowerment in yourself. And you hold it for two minutes. Mm. Uh, it's always, uh, for me, it's always, it's, it's a great it's a great way to build like get my psychology up uh and tony even talks about this tony robbins he says you know your psychology your physiology changes your psychology and every, absolutely every great right. athlete out there does this right everybody has their routine that they go through before they go play that big game or before they uh get up on stage like it, it's just everybody does it and i think we forget that these little things are the little things that really help push us forward drive us forward to be our best in every moment and, and you're angry. And, and not to forget the self-talk because mm. I, I, you know, I understand if you're going out on, you're, you're desperate to get a job, I get that. And if you're, you know, you're going out on multiple interviews, it can be um, heartbreaking if there's a job that you 
healthy and you know that you could be good at that job. Um, but, you know, your self-talk has to be affirming you, your worth. I am, I can, and I, um, what was the other one? And I will. So you've got to reinforce your self-worth and, the, and know the value that you bring and that you offer. Yeah. And, you know, so this is great. So you, you're, you're touching on some really important points with the language that people use, right? Uh, and sometimes it's just, and it's something, what some might seem really casual and unimportant, something as simple as, you know, what's the weather like outside? Uh, it could either be really bad and crappy, or it could be a fantastic day, regardless of what's actually happening outside. And that, well, starts, that starts to set the language, right? So how you describe things and the words that you use start to tell people what your mental state is like. Yeah, yeah. And we are the masters of our fate. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing that we have is our mind. And we have total control over that. Viktor Frankl said that. Viktor Frankl, who was in um, the Holocaust survivor, said that very clearly. People can, um, nobody can, can take control of your mind. They can't stop what's going on inside of your head. Even if you are, you know, in a, in a concentration camp, he saw himself leaving that camp in his mind every day. And that's how he survived in the Nazi concentration camp. So you're touching on a very good point. So uh, not that Viktor Frankl went through all that, but he, he, he discovered something really important. So how do you, and from a mental stress health issue or from a mental stress health perspective, how does somebody get over that, you know, not finding the right job right now and still maintaining that positivity and that, the, the good mental health to get through that difficult moment, through those valleys? I, I, well, you know, you, I think you have to have things in your life that uplift you and sustain you, whether it's playing with your kids, playing with your animals, whether it's, you know, listening to music, whether it's getting connected to nature, um, you know, whether it's, um, you know, having a decent meal, sitting down and enjoying your family. I mean, Work is a part of life. It's not the, it's not just about, it's not the only thing in our life. And, you know, you can, you know, getting in the dumps and getting down in yourself is not going to help you to get a job. Mm -hmm. Maintaining your mental health, you know, maintaining your relationships um, so that they support you. Those are the things that are going to sustain you that will help you to get that job. So, you know, after the interview, make sure that you're, you're, you're connecting with people, with your support system, um, you know, play a little bit, you know, you know, play by, you know, I don't know, going to the gym, going for a walk, going for a swim, um, you know, have other things in your life that, up, that can uplift you mm -hmm. and um, help to help you to maintain your mental health. So these are things that I guess as a candidate, they should be part of my, my regular routine. So even not just afterwards, you know, one of the things I like to do after I, I do a meeting or something really stressful is just go for a walk, right? Um, but even or before, even just yeah. Connect but, nature. I mean, I, I don't know um, if you're located in Brampton or wherever, but we're very privileged to live in Canada that we have so many parks and, and trails. And, and even if you're in Toronto in the city, there's yeah. so many so many green spaces that you can take yourself to. Connect to nature in some way. Um, that'll help you put everything in perspective. Yeah. You know, you could be in a real funk and I, and I will bet you, you go out and start sitting amongst the trees and sit by a lake or whatever, within five minutes, you're, you're your mind and your mood has, has changed. Yeah. Yeah. No, so our, our audience is global and uh, yeah. So whether it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada. Yes. We're, we're lucky. We have a lot of greenery and uh, a lot of trees. Some people lakes. don't have access to that. So hmm. I understand that. So then you have to find it in another way and very easy thing for you to do is if you have access to a computer, go on YouTube. There are lots of um, videos that you can um, play that have what I call earth music. 
sounds of nature, sounds of the ocean, and you can just listen to that stuff and it'll just get you in a really um, 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 different energetic space. It'll just, again, it's that parasympathetic nervous system that will get you to a calm and relaxed space. Yeah, so it's almost like just closing your eyes and just listening to nature, like nature yeah. type sounds. I, yeah. I know, I know when I'm feeling anxious at night and I can't sleep, I'll put on like rain, like fake rain or like uh, a rain music type of background to just like bring me down and relax me and get me into that sleep mode. It's yeah. Great, uh, thousands of them on YouTube. So you know you, yeah, yeah, and well, and can run for like eight hours straight without you having to you can sleep for, sleep through them you can sleep through it yeah and it it really really does because even that even in your sleep right you're you're constantly your mind's constantly working and it's running uh it, it's definitely a great idea to just bring in something that's going to bring it down relax it and it's extremely important the night before the interview as well to make sure that you're put into and i know and it happens to all of us you know we get nervous sometimes and uh, i know before a big presentation, sometimes I don't sleep the night before. And uh, having things like that actually bring me down and, and relax me so I can be in my peak performance. And, and, and that's where the mirror work comes in because this is, you know, affirming who you are, affirming yourself, you're good enough, you know, that kind of stuff. And then you just go in and you just do your thing and know that you have given the best that you can. And, 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 and then you're okay with that. Just, you're, you know that, in yourself that you're okay and that you've done your work and you presented the best that you can and let the, the, the chips fall where they may. Good. Yeah, no, that's excellent. It's uh, wow. We've got some really great tips. So for our audience members, just so I can do a quick recap. So, so far Veronica has given us three tools uh, for interview success. Uh, one is the, the, the power affirmation. So I am, I can, I will. The second tool she's given us is the learning to do deep, empowering breaths, uh, either three, four, five. So hold your breath for three seconds. Sorry, breathe in for three seconds, hold for four seconds, and then breathe out for five. And if you can, you can extend each of those by one second. So four, five, and six, or six, seven, and eight. Veronica, you said you do 10, 10, and 10. And that just comes with experience, and that comes with just practice. And then the third tool you gave us was the power pose and really getting your, uh, your physiology aligned with your psychology so you bring yourself to your most confident self. Yep, you got it. Perfect. So these are great. So Veronica, if our audience members wanted to learn more about you and, and the different things that you do, where can they get information? I know you've got a couple of things going on. I'd love for you to share that with my audience. Yeah, um, uh, the the work that I do, as I said, um, is, is I come from a, um, I provide a stress-based elimination program. So any one of my programs that people get into, the first thing that we do is focus on stress. And I do have some tools um, that um, uh, people have that, that I use with people that will help them to um, uh, really embrace that. So you can connect with me through my website at www.empowered-solutions.ca. And I do provide, um, I call them power consultations um, for free. They're half hour for free. And you can schedule them through my website. And if anything that I have said um, to you um, this, this evening resonates with you and you want to talk a little bit more about any one of the things that I've talked about, um, feel free to connect with me. I do actually have on my um, website a, um, an audio um, hypnosis and it's called, I think it's, um, it's um, Colors of the Rain Rainbow. And it's about um, a hypnosis that you can do that will help you to power yourself and get ready for success. And it's free, so they can just download it for free if they want to. All right, excellent. So what I'll make sure to do is in the show notes is include a link to your website, uh, include a link uh, to uh, actually. So what I like to do as well is uh, we're big fans of doing LinkedIn and we've We've talked about it several times through Zero to Hired. So I'll include that as well. 
and uh, a direct link to that program so they can go in and uh, get it themselves. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. So thank you, Veronica. You've given us some incredibly informative and practical uh, tools that we could use to, to implement to bring down our stress levels. And uh, yeah, I want to thank, thank you for, for taking the time to speak to, to myself and to the Zero to Hired audience. I know there's, there's a lot of great value and uh, thank you for, for, for being a guest today. Oh, and thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed the the topic and and wish all of your um your clients the best and I know that um they're all going to do very well working with you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Veronica. All right, everybody, that is it for this episode of the Zero to Hired podcast. Uh thank you for tuning in and make sure to get your free resume damp, uh, template on our, our website at www.zerotohired.com. Looking forward to our next interview and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for listening to the Zero to Hired podcast. Make sure you check out our website, www.zerotohired.com and download your free resume template that's proven to get results, complete with examples and guidelines. Make sure you tune in as we interview leading industry experts who provide tips and strategies to help you get the career that's right for you.